This is my Porsche 914, and welcome to the living room of a madman. Unfortunately, back in November, my car was hit by a Mercedes SUV, which caused the Mercedes to flip over. My car was parked. I wasn't in it. No one was hurt. And so now, here we are. days we parted the old car and it's now on its way to become a chicken coop or something so now why are we in the grief cave why do we have all this well the game plan is to turn the remnants of Subi doo into a tube chassis race car with everything you see here and more so the goal is to be about 1600 pounds 400 horsepower the body will be like almost exclusively fiberglass zeus on which is why you see some new fiberglass around me like the hood the bumper and all that and it's also a reason why there's a huge box in my kitchen now taking out my life. It sucks. Recycling already came. I don't know what to do with it. It's too big. It'll have a full Porsche Boxer front and rear subframe, meaning it's got all the suspension, all the brakes, everything should handle on rails. And then for tires, it should have some real meat. I'm looking for like maybe 305 or something like that on the back. It'll be crazy. I want this car to be like a Widowmaker. So now we got the whole floor made. So what comes next is we're gonna build the main roll hoop and then we're gonna build the dash bar. That way we can build off of those two things to mount the front and rear suspensions. And we need those two specifically because there's nothing vertical here. So we're gonna need them to mount the strut tops on the front and rear. And you know, there's just like next step. So the struts hammered off. They're sitting off over there. They're out of my way now. So now this is all light, really easy to move around and adjust and everything I need to do. However, in order to get all this to fit, this little tab here is going to go. It's it's dead to me. It used to be like a triangle reinforcement. It used to go like to right there. But I, I can reinforce this however I want. So you, gone. <laughs> So I notched this tube to accept this little square rectangle tube boy there. When you have a weld joint like that, it's going to be a lot stronger than if you just set this and notched it to sit on top. So that's like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Then I rolled the front subframe up into its spot. It's where it wants to be. It's where it's going to live. It is dead not square to that thing. The only problem is it's shifted that way a 32nd and the subframe itself is down 0.2. Try as I might, I can't get it any closer than that. 
So now I get to weld it up. All right, so I added a little weight, which is literally anything I could find sitting in the garage, which actually leveled that out pretty nicely. So then I welded these both up off camera. All the cameras are dead. And then now I'm gonna add plates right there and there. And then I'm gonna weld up all the connections for those cups there. All right, so that's gonna about do it for this episode. In summary, we got the main roll hoop, we got the floor, the dash bar, and thank God, the front subframe is mounted. I added these little pieces off camera to help reinforce it. There's gonna be more reinforcement everywhere later, so don't, don't blow me up about it, I already know. Um, so next time, I'm either cutting up a Porsche or I'm building more to this, maybe mounting the front struts and rear subframe. At this point, I don't know. It's a choose your own adventure, but we'll choose that adventure next time. Thank you.